Hello friends and welcome to our devotional series about specific kinds of prayers that we're calling prayers from the throne room. We offer these when we understand we're praying from the throne room. Minds ablaze and filled with Jesus, hearts set apart in His presence, eyes focused on Him, seated in heavenly places, filled with His Spirit, empowered with His love. Prayers from the throne room are those prayers inspired by our times with Jesus, fueled by the fire we were baptized in, sourced through the wisdom we've heard from Him, done in the power supplied by Him, asked in the name that is above every other name. We are the people who are called on to establish heaven's agenda and atmosphere here on earth. This is what Jesus taught His disciples to pray when they said, could you teach us how to pray? He said, yes, pray heaven's agenda. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth just as it is in heaven. Jesus' will, as it turns out, is quite different from the agenda and will of this earth, where, where we, we cannot solve earthly problems with only earthly solutions and expect to see heavenly results. When we apply earthly solutions to earthly problems, we won't see heavenly results. If we want heaven established on earth, we must source our solutions from heaven. They must be anchored in the wisdom of God and in the nature of Jesus. And if we want to see a different world, we must be filled with a different spirit to the spirit of this world. Fortunately, God's generosity extends to giving us not only His only begotten Son, but His Holy Spirit as well. So when we come to pray prayers from the throne. It isn't the things that are on our heart that are necessarily the most important. Not that what, what is on our heart doesn't captivate Him because they're influencing us, but a far better way of praying is to learn to source our prayers in heaven. So we need to ask a few questions the next time you come to this place of prayer. I would suggest you say, uh, uh, what is going on in heaven right now? What is God saying? What response in my heart is, is going on in response to what He's revealing to me. Is there something He's asked me to do? See, when we come into heaven, we have to learn to access heaven's resources so that we can make them available on earth. If we're to see heaven come to earth as Jesus taught us to pray, then we who inhabit heaven and earth are the only people who can make this happen. So we're going to have to learn to ask those questions. What's going on, Lord, right now in heaven? What are you saying to me? What response is my heart stirring towards what you're revealing to me? Is there something that you're asking me to do? Those are great questions. So one prayer that's aligned with His will and His agenda has great power and can launch us into our destiny and can change the world for everyone else. It starts with our connection to Jesus in the secret place, communing with Him, supping with Him, abiding with Him. And out of that overflow, we pray, we worship, we declare, and we act. So I want to encourage you today to practice receiving heaven's resources and then find a way to release those resources on the earth. This is why prayer is the first and most regular experiences of those who do this well. Prayer is the practice ground for accessing spiritual treasure and then releasing it to God's people on the earth. So come to this place of prayer. Drink deep. Come like a sponge, absorb the presence of God, absorb the wisdom of God, listen to His voice, and then share what you've received freely. You have received freely, give, Jesus said. So listen long and then pray in line with those truths that they would be revealed on earth. Let the fire burn in your heart, then act on what He said. See, this is what Jesus taught about the Holy Spirit in John 16, 12. He said, I have much more to say to you, more than you can now bear. But when He, the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on His own. He will speak only what is here, hears, and He will tell you what is yet to come. He will glorify me because it is from me that He will receive what He will make known to you. All that the Father has belongs to me. That's why I said the Spirit will receive from me what He will make known to you. So come into this prayer time like an empty sponge, like an empty container and receive your fill of peace and wisdom 
and clarity. Come to listen for wisdom points and for marching orders. Come to listen to tender words of kind exhortation, to reminders of his love, to declarations of his glory and who we are in him. Come and get and be overflowing and then act on what you've received. Those are prayers from the throne room. Not storming the throne room with all my anxious thoughts, but coming to the throne room to receive his peaceful and glorious ones. And when I've received his thoughts, when I'm saturated with what he wants, when I've captured his heart, when I'm basking in the love that he has for me, then I pray prayers that are going to be God honoring and world changing. And so will you. I dare you today to come to the Lord with that expectation and say, Lord, fill me to overflowing. Ask God for more than you need so that you can give away to others in need. Ask for 10 times what you need so that you can be a blessing to nine other people today. And, and let's see what God will do if we come to receive and then to pray. We miss you. Think about you all the time. Pray for you every day. Can't wait to get back together again. God bless.